Creativity is a mansion. If you're empty in one room, all you have to do is go out into the hallway and enter another room that's full. If I were to do a movie about Apollo 13, I'd be at NASA studying what it took to go into space. It's part of your job to go deep, to interview the right people. Success is really about your mindset. I know a lot of people who enjoy rap music who aren't black. You can't just say it's black music. To segregate films the way Hollywood likes to segregate films, ultimately everyone loses. I always direct next to the camera and watch my actors, and so you can see the small things that you can't see on the small screen, but you can definitely see on the big screen. Most of music videos were short films, they had dialogue, action sequences. I shot with cranes and helicopters. I wanted to create cinema-like moments. I don't have a typical filmmaker background. I didn't grow up with a Super 8 camera or a video camera. I didn't start cutting movies when I was 4 or 5. I actually didn't really start to get into the research of film until I was much older. I decided I wanted to direct a lot earlier than I started to do the research, which is really strange, but it is the case. I remember where I was when I first heard Boys End the Hood, 126th Street and Normandy, South Central, Los Angeles. I remember that I was on my porch. What they described in that song was so vivid and so clear to me because it was the kind of life I was used to witnessing and partly experiencing in my neighborhood. I knew that in Hollywood they tend to pigeonhole talent, and when you experience a little success in one genre, their instinct is to keep you in that box. I was a little hesitant at first, because there's so many ways you can get straight out of Compton wrong. You know, it's such a great story, it's such a classic tale. I was a little nervous, because it's like a very narrow road to success with that type of story. You got to get it right, but when I read it, I was pleasantly surprised. I love a challenge. So when I did Friday, I didn't want to do another comedy back-to-back. -back. With Set It Off, that was a little different from The Negotiator and The Italian Job. So for me, it's all about challenge. It's all about challenge and about just learning. Straight Outta Compton is my first biopic, my first period piece and I got a chance to kind of get out there like some of my idols, you know, like Scorsese, Spielberg, Spike Lee, the guys who came before me. You know, I'm feeling good about it. Everybody comes to film differently. Everybody has different backgrounds. Just find whatever your lane is naturally. Don't try to force yourself into someone else's vision or try to tell a story that you're not passionate about. My parents separated when I was two, and my dad always lived in Chicago and my mother in L.A. I'd go back and forth and sometimes spend the summer with my dad, but L.A. was home. I take nothing away from my existence in the hood because it sharpened my instincts. We had a different way of living that developed our survival instincts, and I use those to this day when I make films. You can't buy that. I was doing well on TV as a freelance cameraman, but it wasn't the direction I wanted to go in. I directed videos and tried to put something cinematic in every one, dialogue, action sequences, helicopter, steadicam. You have to enjoy yourself when you go to the movies. 
People don't want to spend their hard-earned money to simply go see a history lesson. Hip-hop has been an integral part of my life and my whole career. I started off doing videos with Ice Cube and Dre and Mary J, Blige and TLC. We didn't have much money growing up, so we hopped around LA a lot in the 70s, 80s and 90s. I'm very familiar with the shifting culture there. When you start directing movies at the age of 24, you're just a kid. You don't necessarily even have the experiences to add to the story. You're working off of instinct and raw emotions and raw talent, and hopefully it's the same trajectory as growing as a person. When you look at someone good like J.J. Abrams who gives you the spectacle and great action set pieces, but also gives you character and great story and plotting and narrative, I think it's my job and my intention to do both. I never limit myself when it comes to telling stories. I think people can see that in my body of work. It's just about, what's a great story? Is it unique? Is it a challenge? No matter where you came from, you can be inspired. I taught a master class in film in France, and that was a great experience because I got a chance to study the French film culture and the French film history. So to add, just to expand myself just personally and professionally was really helpful. What do I bring to a film? I think, maybe, I know for a fact that I focus on connection of character. I focus on warmth and a heart. But I don't know if it's because I'm African American or because I'm crazy, who knows. Why did I want to become a director? I just had an early interest. My uncle was an actor in a local community theater, and he ultimately persuaded me and a buddy of mine to come to that theater and we went to meet girls, and that turned into interested in kind of behind-the-scenes things, and from that point on, I was focused. I'm single-minded. When I'm working on a project, all my attention is there. I'm not afraid of a big studio film. I trust my instincts. But for me, it's not really about box office. It's about looking back on your work and not having to apologize for it.